Navigating self-mastery using the power of the mind, body and soul. So to begin with with this one, we're going to have a look at exactly what self-mastery actually is. And self-mastery basically boils down to you knowing who you are and who self is and what self actually is here to experience from a place of exposure to an environment and a reality that is designed for growth and therefore self-mastery. And in doing so, what then happens is you actually get to the position whereby you are becoming the person that you were intending to be and you're becoming the person that you're here to be based on experiences and having the exposure to everything that you need to fulfill whatever it is that you're looking to experience from a greater perspective for soul growth and soul development. And what then happens is when we have these positions whereby we're using the power of the mind, body and the soul, then the question becomes, how do we use this structure as a guidance system? And the guidance system is exactly that. We have senses for a reason. So if we don't have access to these senses and we're not utilizing them effectively or correctly in order to experience our environment to its fullest, then how are we meant to experience anything above and beyond the conditioning and all of the behaviours and the patterns that we've only ever been subject to? So the idea behind self-mastery is actually to go back to understand every ounce of who we are and how we show up and what we have access to in order to then project that outwardly to then attract further experiences and exposure to the stuff that we actually want to be experiencing rather than that which we've been conditioned to experience. And then what happens is you get all of these hurdles and you get all of these blocks and obstacles that are in the way of you actually achieving that full potential. And when we have a look at the potential and the self-mastery element, then the question is how powerful are we to begin with? Because we can use the thoughts, we can use the body as a vehicle and we can also use the soul also as a vehicle in order to then move to a position whereby we're creating, attracting and manifesting exactly what we wish to in order to then fulfill a greater purpose and therefore have the vastness of the experience that is the human experience. So with self-mastery itself, we have to get to the position whereby we're focusing more on not the external environment, but the inner world. And when we have a look at the inner world, we then have to get to a position whereby we're understanding exactly what is in there in order to work out if it still needs to be in there. And if it doesn't need to be in there, then we have to go about ways of getting rid of it in order to then attract everything that we desire for the next identity shift or the next stage of our own growth and personal development. Um, when we come to navigating self-mastery, it's not so much a case of navigating it, but it's actually setting it up correctly in the first place. So there's a couple of bits for you to think about, but as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.